This is how you can make an invite leaderboard command using your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so to start, we're going to go over to community, and we can go ahead and create invite lb so leaderboard.js in here we're going to get our slash command builder and we're also going to get our embed builder then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package next we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we can get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder then we're going to go ahead and start off by setting a name which is going to be our invite leaderboard command then we're going to go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say get the total and i'm going to go ahead and say all time like this and then we can go ahead and say invite leaderboard next we can go ahead and add a comma and and we're going to do async execute. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up. First, we're going to go ahead and get our var invites and we're going to do equals await interaction dot guild dot invites dot fetch. Then we're going to go ahead and do var members equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch. So we're going to go ahead and get our invites and we're also going to go ahead and get our members. Then we're going to go ahead and write two functions. So we're going to do async function total and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to do var and we can get our user invites. So we're just going to do that and we're going to set that equal to an empty array then we're going to go ahead and do await members for each so we're getting that member variable from above then we're going to get our member and we're going to open this up in here we're going to do var u invites equals and we can go in and say await invites dot filter and we can do u arrow function u dot inviter ampersand ampersand and we can say u dot inviter dot id equals 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 member and we do dot user dot id just like that then we're going to go ahead and do var counts and we're going to set that equal to zero because that's going to be the starting number if they don't have any invites. Then we can go ahead and do await u invites and we can go ahead and do dot for each. We're going to do async invites arrow function count plus equals invite dot uses. Then we're going to go ahead and do user invites dot push and we're going to go ahead and create our object. So within this we're going to get our member. It's going to be our member dot user dot id and we're also going to get our invites which is going to be our count variable. So now that we've done that all we have to do is come down here and return our user invites array so after we do that we are actually done with that function now we're going to go ahead and create our send message function and we're going to pass in a message parameter within this we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder we're just going to go ahead and set a color and that's going to be blurple and then we're going to go ahead and set a description and that's going to be our message parameter then we can actually go ahead and send this we can do wait interaction to reply we only have to get our embeds so we can do embeds we're going to get our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message so next we're going to go ahead and actually filter all of our invites and format it as we need to so we're going to do var leaderboard equals wait total just like that so we're going to use our total function we're going to do leaderboard so we're going to get that variable and then we can go ahead and do dot sorts we can do a comma b and we can do an arrow function and we're going to do b invites minus and then we can do a invites just like that so now we can do var outputs equals leaderboard dot slice and we're going to go ahead and get zero and we can do 10. so by the way this method is very similar to the method that we used in our message leaderboard system it's pretty much the exact same thing um, but we are doing this with invites then we're going to do var string and we can do var num equals one then we're going to do a weight output dot for each and we're going to get our async value so we can do that and we can open this up and then this we're going to do var member equals a weight interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch so we're going to get our member using our value so we're going to do value dot member so we're getting the object that we saved into our user invites array and we are getting that as a specific member then we're going to do string and we can do plus equals and we're going to make our string so i'm going to get a hashtag to symbolize the place that the member is in and we're going to go ahead and get our number variable then we're going to say member and we're going to go ahead and open this up but first we'll bold it and we can say member dot user dot username and then we can finish that bolding and we're going to do a comma and we can say total invites and we're going to do a backslash tick and we can go ahead and get our value dot invites fish that off and we can do a backslash n outside of that as well so now that we have our string all we have to do is change our number variable so we can do num plus plus just like that because every time this runs we need to add one to this so we can accurately update our number here uh, in terms of the placement and we're only going to be filtering through 10 users because that is the size of the leaderboard if you'd like to make that bigger all you have to do is just change this number here you could technically go higher but i think 10 is a pretty good number one through 10 out of the entire server 
Then we're gonna do string equals string dot replace. We're gonna go and get undefined and we're gonna go and replace it with nothing. We're doing this because for some reason this logic here puts an undefined in at the very beginning so we can just take it out and it doesn't really cause any problems. So now all we have to do is send it. So we can do await send message and I'm gonna go ahead and get a globe emoji and I'm just gonna go ahead and say total invite leaderboard and I'm gonna go ahead and finish that bolding and we're gonna do backslash n backslash n and I'm just gonna go ahead and simply get the string variable just like that. So with that, we are actually done with this entire code. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and get our invite leaderboard and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and send it. And as you can see here, we're gonna get our invite leaderboard. So we have members one through 10. Uh, some of these obviously have zero. In fact, most of these have zero invites because it's a pretty small server. But as you can see, it is ordered from least to greatest within invites. Uh, next, it's just going to be random, I guess, based off of how uh, the member was fetched in the original array when we first got them. But now let's actually go over to a bigger Discord server, and I'm going to go into the bot commands channel, and I'm just going to go ahead and get our invite leaderboard, and we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, now we have a little bit better statistics. So obviously the first member is me with 17,000 invites. I know that's kind of crazy, but I guess I have that many from the YouTube channel. Uh, and then it goes seven, four, three, two, and then one, and then zero after that. Again, one through 10 uh, with the member in bold and their invites. The main point I want to emphasize here is that it is ordered from greatest to least, and it only includes 10 members. So that is important to keep in mind when formatting this because technically this is pretty easy to do. You could just fetch them all and send it. Um, but in order to get an accurate leaderboard, you have to do uh, the correct job filtering from least to greatest. Um, so that is part of the function. So just make sure you got that right. Uh, otherwise, this will not work properly. So that's you can make an advanced invite leaderboard command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.